Hey everybody, this is Razor's Edge back with another video. Today we're going to be playing a game called The Bloodline. And it's a little different than what I normally play. The whole premise of, of it is it's a world that you can do basically whatever you want. Level ups are a different kind of system. You just do them and level up. Just about everything that you do has a skill. Jumping, I'm assuming sprinting. Yeah, sprinting is one. You know, unarmed fighting, magic, even fishing. So you might see a little bit of that in it. Who knows? But this game was on sale. I don't know if the Steam Winter Sale is still going on, but it was about $14. So if you want, go pick it up before it's done. So here's a little bit of text from the developer himself or herself about the work, the game world. I'm not going to skip through it. I'm going to let you read it if you feel like it. But yeah, it's made by one person. And just as I've played, I, it's amazing that they've managed to make this world and keep going with it. Just going to have a little bit of goofy shenanigans over here as I learn how to play the game. You know, pressing buttons, trying to smack people. Yeah, fun times. So I'm a big fan of just goofing around and not doing what the game wants me to do. And in this one here, I decided to go for a walk around the wall. They're the rim of the building. I don't know what it's called. Part of the walkway or not walkway, if you want to look at it like that. And yeah, I might have accidentally discovered a way to, you know, get out of the building or out of the area. I didn't know what I was doing. No idea that this was a thing. And yeah, uh, I pay for that here real soon. So this here is the overworld. Very, It felt very Final Fantasy style, like at least the early on games. Where you just point, click, and go where you need to go. It's different. Not something I expected. But it does make sense from a logistical standpoint to have this as a means to get around. <laughs> so I don't know if you could tell or not, but in this instance, I am panicking. I skipped a major part of the tutorial there by uh, stupidly leaving the castle. Um, I don't have a weapon. So yeah, let's see how I figure this one out. Honestly, they weren't that terrifying. They were just skeletons, but I didn't know that they couldn't run after you or anything. So realistically, you can just walk away. I'm gonna skip ahead here just a hair to see that I, I found something that I thoroughly enjoy to do in games. Mining. Now, I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch me do all of this because it goes for a while, but let's just skip through this part. So here we're going to talk about leveling up. It's, a, it's very similar to a Skyrim style where you can do your health, stamina, or mana. Each one of them does increase it by quite a lot, but so far, since I'm not using magic yet, I haven't found a need to increase it. But, you know, you never know in the future. Here we're going to take a look at the skill portion of leveling up. You've got four main categories. Each one of them has their own subcategories, and each one of those categories has their own skill sets. And you, as you uh, increase their, your proficiency with them by putting more points into that skill area, like unarmed combat, for example, you'll unlock better skills later on down the road. 
again, very similar to most progression systems that you're used to. But I'm going to speed this one up so you guys don't have to watch me be indecisive about it. I'm not going to say much here other than I finally learned some skills to do things. So I'm just going to let you guys watch this bloodbath here. And then, uh, yeah, we'll move on to the next subject. Next subject time. Did you see the ragdoll on that thing? Oh, my God. The ragdoll effects just in this game alone are fantastic. Never have I been able to uppercut someone so hard that they die from taking fall damage. Alright, I think I'm going to speed this next little bit of the fight up, considering it's, you know, starting to drag on a little bit. And it's really dark. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, I might have to adjust the exposure a little bit. And there we go. Got a little brighter for you. Now remember, I don't have a weapon, so I have to use my skills to kill these guys. Ended up just skipping the last extra half hour I spent in that area. So here we're going to go right back to the stronghold and we're going to go ahead and do some quests and try to fix our mistake of leaving a little early. So I'm just going to cut through here a little bit and get to where I get my weapon and go from there. Hmm. Yes, you read that right. We're going to do something else. And if you can't tell, we're going fishing. No game is complete without having fishing in it. And I'll be damned if I'm not excited about this one. Not that it's any better than anything else, but because it's in the game. So I did a little bit of looking around in the stronghold before I got to this bit, and I found that there are construction zones, basically, where you can build additional things into the stronghold. And it seems to be a pretty neat prospect, you know, might add some new content to it. This dilapidated old man here is actually going to give some context behind the world. And we would have seen this, you know, about 10 minutes ago if I would have actually gone the right way. Um, I am going to speed this up, but feel free to pause it if you want to read any of the story behind it. Me personally, I don't care. I just want to play the game. I think the story is great so far, but I don't know much of it. Turns out that's also the old man that you get your weapon from. Yeah, I'm just going to play the game straightforward next time. Back in the overworld, just doing a little bit of traveling, seeing what's out there. And there's another ambush, so I might as well go see what kind of butt I can kick. With knowing how short attention spans are, I'm just going to go ahead and speed up this fight a little bit. But take note, I don't use that weapon all that much. I still use my abilities. All right, guys, this is where we're going to go ahead and end the video. If you would, like and subscribe. It costs you nothing to do it. Doesn't hurt. I think I'm up to 31 at the time of doing this recording. So maybe 35 by the end of January. Who knows? We'll give it a shot and keep going on. If you guys want to pick this game up, I believe it's still on sale on Steam for around 15 bucks, and it's honestly worth it. But otherwise, have a good one and enjoy the beginning of the year.